Thursday, February 13, all of music's big names will gather together for the 53rd Annual Grammy Awards in Los Angeles. Such names include Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, and Eminem. And you can include our next guests in that discussion because they will be attending the biggest music event of the year as their album, Healthy Food for Thought, Good Enough to Eat, is a nominee. And the producers, James Cravero and Kevin Mackey of the East Coast Recording Company, join us now to tell us more about this award-winning album, or this award-nominated album. <laughs> Hopefully it will be award-winning, correct? It's a good sign. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, uh, that, that's, a, that's a good slip. Anyway, gentlemen, welcome and thank you for being with us. Thank you. And uh, please, tell us a little bit about uh, your, comp your production company and uh, your recording company <coughs> and how it is that uh, you came to produce this particular uh, album and relate it to healthy eating for kids. Well, I have a friend, uh, Bob Miles, and he works with the New York Coalition for Healthy School Food. And he recommended to the director um, if they want to put a CD together to benefit what they do to call mm -hmm. me, and it, that's exactly what happened. I looked into it. I really liked what they, what they do because kids today do, are not eating right and it is a major problem. I was in a high school not too long ago, uh, about a month ago, and I was horrified what the kids were eating there. Um, so after talks uh, with Amy Hamlin, the director of the New York Coalition for Healthy School Food, at that point we decided to put a CD together um, to benefit them and all the proceeds Go, uh, go to them. We don't receive a single penny from yeah, this. Yeah, 100%. The proceeds go to... Yeah, not to the whom? profits. The proceeds go for the New York Coalition for Healthy School Food. Um, we pay for the CD to be, to be produced. We produce the CD. And every minute that we spend working on the CD is an entire donation. Now, in, in, as part of this work, is there any uh, coalescing that you've done with, uh, with the New York City Department of Education, for example, as it relates to this? Well, that's what they do. Um, I don't know exactly. You don't, you don't get involved. We don't in get that. involved in that. Okay. We just put the CD together to raise the money to do what they do. But now, the question now: this this uh, this CD obviously it's uh, it's distribution. Uh, well, let me rephrase that because I don't know that it is so obvious. But <laughs> is this CD and its distribution targeted specifically for New York City schools, or is this a national effort as it relates to healthier eating? for children. It is a national effort, uh, but like I said, the, all the money goes to New York City, so the New York City kids benefit uh, from the CD. But the idea of the CD mm -hmm. is a benefit for not only the nation, but the entire world. Yeah, there's artists from all over the country. Uh, on the world, on, 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 the, on, the, CD. on the CD. Yeah. Yes, uh, Russell Simmons is okay. on there, uh, okay. Julian Lennon, Moby, and then we have kids, uh, uh, people that play for kids like Tom Chapin, Trout Fishing in America, because the CD is geared for the kids, but we put it together with the family in mind. So you could listen to the CD and laugh along with it and enjoy the music while the kids themselves uh, dance around the living rooms. And they all have their different favorite songs and, and pieces. So, uh, and how, lo how long was this, uh, did this production uh, take? Almost two years. Really? Yeah, 60 tracks. 60 two tracks. Double CD. Two, yep, two discs. Wow. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and, and are any of the, uh, as a result, any of these uh, kids that participated in the, uh, in the production of the CD, uh, are they, uh, have they expressed an interest in pursuing uh, musical careers? Uh, I don't know that because I'm not in direct contact with them, but I'm sure know. after this, you know, this is the type of thing that, uh, you know, when kids are like, wow, I'm on the, on the, I'm on the CD cover of a nomi uh, Grammy nominated CD, and, you know, it enlightens them. Maybe they may want to look into, what can I do with music? Sure, sure. Uh, and uh, I imagine that the both of you will, uh, will certainly be uh, th present and uh, standing tall at, uh, in L.A. on the 13th of February. Sure uh, will be. You know, hoping and waiting to hear your names called as uh, Grammy winners for, the, uh, for this, uh, this album. So, uh, James, tell us a little bit. I mean, I know that, uh, you know, from your uh, musical engineering background, what, uh, tell us a little bit about your role specifically uh, with the production of the CD? Well, mostly um, some of the artists submitted tracks, and then some of the artists came to the studio, we recorded them, and then I laid in music beds, uh -huh. and other artists actually submitted music for the beds, and we recorded some of the beds, and then we had sound effects we recorded and added sound effects, you know, just put everything together to make it a complete project. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of fun now, it's fun. And a lot of work, I'm sure. Because yeah. I, I know that yeah. the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the post-production uh, can be a lot, a lot uh, 
well, it is a lot more uh, involved yeah. than the actual uh, shooting <laughs> of it, whether it's a, uh, you know, a movie or Cleaning anything. Cleaning up everything. Uh, <laughs> you know, putting all the things together, it certainly takes a lot of work. Uh, now, you've been doing this, I guess, for some time? Yeah, since about, um, what, 94? Yeah, 94, 94. Is that, is, that, uh, is that how long uh, your, uh, your, your uh, music company has been, uh, has been in existence? Yes. yes. The East, uh, the East Coast, uh, what is it? The East Coast, East Coast music, Recording. Yep. East Coast Recording Company. Mm -hmm. And and have you recorded any other artists by any chance? I mean that uh, you've laid down on uh, on, on any of these uh, CDs. Uh, Jim is the chief recording artist. Cause, uh, actually, mo most of this, what you hear on this, uh, on this particular CD, um, we did do a lot uh, mm -hmm. with the spoken word pieces at the studio. But when you put a compilation together, uh, more times the artists will actually send you their musical piece. Now, occasionally you do record some at the studio, some of the okay. local people come. So it's, uh, so it's actually done, it can be done, they, they can record it at some other studio, et cetera, and then just send you the exactly. track and, yeah. then and then you lay it and in. And then Jim masters it, and then, like I said, even the spoken word pieces, when we got sent spoken word pieces that weren't recorded with us, Jim would then listen to it and, and then put uh, sound effects underneath. Um, sometimes very entertaining ones, very funny ones, depending on the, on the piece itself. That's interesting. So then this is actually a combination of not only musical arrangements and, uh, and, and music, but of, of spoken uh, pieces as well? Right. Yeah. And it's just not, like I said, it's just not spoken pieces. It's uh, got some musical undertone. Right. So you forget you're, you're not really just listening to a spoken word. Right, right, right. You that's, forget that. That's very interesting. I, I imagine that that's one of, the, uh, one of the real appealing aspects of it that uh, may have prompted it well, uh, that's how four, four, that, that's four. how we got our nomination. Yeah, and uh, that makes it makes a lot of sense. And and currently, it is uh, in uh, in stores for. Uh, you know, well, it is available on the website. On at your website. www.healthyfoodforthought.com. www.healthyfoodforthought.com. Right. Uh, the libraries. We have distribution companies uh, for the libraries. Um, but the easiest way, if the normal, the average consumer just goes online, they can buy it very easily, and it's only ten dollars. Wow. For two CDs and 60 tracks. <laughs> and, and all proceeds going to? All proceeds. Yeah. Going to the New York City uh, Coalition. Coalition for Healthy School Food. For Healthy School Kids. Right. And uh, certainly we know that there's been a whole uh, hoopla recently about all the menus that are going to be changing and yes. the increase in vegetables, etc., yeah. etc. Et and, you know, and that's because of people like the New York Coalition for speaking up and saying we need change. Mm. Exactly, exactly. Considering the obesity problem in the country, right. we certainly do. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I wish you much luck uh, on the 13th, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can have you back here with the actual Grammy we'll bring the in, in, your, in, your, in your hand. <laughs> Continued success to you, and congratulations on this. Thank you.